So you've taken the SAT test and uh, you want to submit it to colleges. You're going to apply to colleges. You want to send your scores in. So how do they get sent in? When you fill out your applications, do they get sent in automatically? If not, then how does it work? I'm going to explain all the details right here in this video. So stay tuned. I've had students in the past who have made this mistake, and I don't want you to make this mistake. So listen up now. What is this? Okay, this is the misconception that my SAT scores will automatically get sent to colleges when I apply to the college. Now, I don't know why certain students think this. Okay, I don't know why students might think this, but this is not true. Okay, you have to go into College Board. You got to log in, username, password. And if you've taken the SAT test, you got to send your scores to each of the schools. Each college has a school code and you have to go in there and you got to send your scores to each of the colleges. If you do not do that, the colleges will not receive the scores automatically. So if you've taken SAT, now I understand that a lot of schools are test optional, okay? But students are submitting SAT scores and ACT scores just as much as they were in past years before the pandemic. And so... If you are submitting your SAT scores, your ACT scores, make sure that you get them sent. Now, when should you have them sent? November 1st is, uh, generally speaking, the earliest deadline, right? Early action, um, early decision deadline. Okay, I understand there are rolling admissions and some schools have like October 15th deadline and so forth. But just I'm just generally speaking, okay, whatever the deadline is, we'll, we'll just say uh, for this uh, example's sake, November 1st. I always tell my students to ha go to College Board and have their score sent at least one month before. So make sure you send them in. Do not assume that they will get sent automatically because they will not. 